just over here, and what we'll do is we'll throw down a activation module again. We'll then feed that into an OR, and then we'll feed that into a NOT, and then we'll feed that into a DELAY, and then what we can do is have an activation module on the side as well, and if need be we can put a NOT gate to invert things as well. So we'll hook the activation module up into the OR, we'll grab the OR and hook it into the NOT, not goes into the delay, delay goes into the activation module on the side, that goes into the knot here, and it also goes back into the OR. And so this is on, and so it's preventing the loop from actually starting, but once we turn it off, you'll see the loop starts and we start seeing a pulse going out. And so this is going every 0 0.5 seconds because of this, if we wanted to make the clock longer, then we could just add an extra delay on the side and just go, instead of going into that one, go into that one, then that one goes into that one. And so we should see a longer pulse. So now it's oscillating every one second. But for what we're going to be building next, what we want is we want it to be going every 0 0.5, so we'll close that, hook it back up to there, and we'll just toggle it back on again. So that's how you make a basic clock. If we grab a light, we can show how that can be integrated in. If we run these lights along, we could grab our activation module here and hook it up to two of them. And grab the other one and hook it up to the other two. So it's kind of oscillating along. And if we grab Plexi Door, we can also indicate exactly how that's going as well. So like that, like that. So you can see it's kind of moving along. So that's how our basic clock works. They're going to be very useful in some of the other stuff that we're going to be setting up.